Ooh, what's up guys? This is the Broken Man and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as Persia. And in this episode, we're going to engage the forces under Mahmud Riza that were on their way to attack Baghdad and now have turned to attack our large force here. Should be okay. Um, let's get ready and set up. They do have reinforcements coming in, so you have to be aware of that, but there are a lot of irregular troops, so still should be okay. Um, but this is the only army that we can actually see of the Ottomans. So if we break this, this could be quite, this could be a really good uh, thing for our army. And we do have reinforcements coming up from Baghdad and from uh, Esfahan itself. So I think if we do really well here, we want to make sure we keep it up and maintain the pressure. So I think hmm, it's tempting to send, well, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's let's get fighting okay so guns up on the high ground we're going to resist their initial Gee, you've only you do have shrapnel shot okay let's use it first first of all let's take everybody except the guns so i can see who i've deployed and who i haven't deployed Okay, let's take the Israeli, either side of the gun. I'll probably want to move a little bit further this way. Then my set, I know my center is going to be really quite strong, so my Israeli can fly by rank. Then we want three units of Felaim. Hold one flank. Probably want to curve that flank inwards a little bit. And that's my right flank. My left. Hmm. Actually. I might want to defend this feature. See, the enemies can. So they're coming from there. They should come in from somewhere over there. Yeah, I think that's what I want to do. Or at the very least, I want my line to be more on the left. So I can take these guys. You can hold this position. And then I want... He goes up, these guys up here to position... I need you okay, a little bit... A little bit further little bit further so we've got a decent hill position to defend here one you guys to scamper over here and form a defensive line on the left then on the right keep my belly in and pikes employed so that's these three units set up some units, fighting units and a levy unit on the left. But another levy on the flank. Camel and Pikes on the right. Camel on the left. General on the left. So Israeli, Bali, Bali, Israeli. So they're all over there. Oh, they are coming in. Okay, let's get set up. Yeah, my skirmishers are right up on the edge. Camels aren't going to necessarily have much to do. You might send a levy and a fellaheen and then keep the pike unit back. Well, keep the pike unit more central. Focus on engaging their camels with artillery fire rather than their artillery. So you've not killed two guys, but focus on their um, camels. Let's 
Skirmish horsemen, not bothered about them. Guns, eh? There's their um, melee troops. I aim at you. I'm kind of looking around to see if I can provoke anybody to attack. Start engaging my Serrae with bow fire, but the item didn't actually kill anybody. Should be okay. Just let them do what they're doing. There we go, that's what I want. Pikes are up and ready. Push forward. So you might. There you go. Camels are routing. Hit the horseman with canister shots. Back with their skirmishes. Talk at my melee units on the left flank. Switch you guys to round shot. Try aim at another camel unit. Zooks are hiding. Keep my Zimindari horsemen on the move. We've broken them. Pull back for this Felline unit. Get my cavalry in. Mow down these nomads. Good, they are shattered. Engaged by the camels, so only really half handedly charging forward. Switch to counter shot, engage the camel nomads. Because the camel nomads are interfering with our fly by rank drills. In the Bashi Bazooks. And this cavalry unit smash into them in the flank. Come on, break them. Or slaughter them. Where's my Felaine? Get back, let the infantry line do some good work, although I'm going to start moving. But these are their Felaine. I'm not going to get to kill the Bashi Bazooks because the enemy. away from our line though. Bring the levy in the centre here to support the line. Pelleen Slugfest. 
switch my artillery to round shot, engage the guns back here on the move. We're a bit caught out here, we need to make sure we don't go too mad. We are going to annihilate this fellow in unit. Come back. No, nope, they're not going to let us come back. Well, the infantry behind the line are doing a grand job. They haven't really been needed yet. This cavalry unit chase down that camel unit. Get my general over here. He can start to do good stuff. Hold the right flank in. So my, yeah, you guys need to chase down those camels. Gunners engage that camel nomad unit. They went a bit of a direct route. Killed the enemy general. Go after the artillery. Okay, here we go. Some light camels. Prioritize the Felain. Kill the gunners. Good, my left line is actually going really quite well. Okay, everybody, move forward. That's the artillery kill for you. We'd like to kill more of these camels, but their infantry will do. Commit my camels because it looks like the enemy units on the blank have collapsed. Cut them down. Enemy units are charging down towards us because they know they don't have open hell. Last of those Felain, General's bodyguard, kill those musketeers. So much death. Give units orders to pursue on foot. My levy attack the gunners, the other unit, Felain. Push forward, like you're charging just hit this blob of men. Back them down. Nice. Yeah, we're gonna continue. Screw you, Ottomans. You're going down. We're not gonna get too many, like, complete unit kills because there's just so many. can do an awful lot of damage to them. OK, 
Oh, we can kill that unit of Feline, that'd be good. We'll chase after those musketeers still. And these guys are at least all together. for the Bashi Bazooks, actually, because they're all together. Get the infantry out of the way. Just because otherwise they end up getting killed from my own units charging. Two Bashi Bazooks gone. Chase down the last of these Musketeers. Chase down this last Alain. Nice. The General's deciding that column formations how he wants to go after his troops. Or after his um, enemies, but with all these guys, with all this cavalry we can put into the mix. Couple more units dealt with. There he is, he's over there. I don't know why my general's bodyguard decided to run around in column formation. Very weird. The unit over there has run out of guys to kill, or they've escaped. Let's do this, see if it's something to do with how they've been positioned. Are oh, they well and truly spread out? There goes the last guy. You lucky soul. But decisive victory is exactly what we wanted to see. Nice. Very, very good. So, good amount of kills. We've only got 1,800 left. New men scatter back into the hills. What I was going to say was I'm tempted to take this army, which is quite a strong army, and send them to Ankara and then hold it. Because if they take Ankara, that is... In the Middle East, that's the core of... Um, the core of Ottoman power, because at least we can take the army that's currently north, bring them south, reinforce them, and then maintain the pressure against the um, Ottomans. That can still work. Now, once we take Ankara, hopefully if we take Damascus, then push on to Jerusalem, we can blitz Cairo and then get a peace with the Ottomans that could actually last. Okay, so you can actually come over here, this side of this Ottoman army, and then attack them. There you go, run one guy out. Ah, so annoying. Let's run you here. So many little scrappy battles. Bring this army down from the north. You... Oh. So determined to not die. Have you got anybody that can move? Yes, you can push out and attack them. Bring the army in. And you guys can run up and attack. Hamza Beek Sadiq. Good. Okay, you guys need to recombine. Actually, you guys all combine on this army here. You stay where you are. 5,100. Let's get replenishing. So this army can stay the way it is. This army is going to group up with them. As are these guys. As are these guys could probably do with more um could probably do with more melee units okay so this guy is going to go up to Ankara you're going to go try and trade Damascus you're going to try and trade Ankara everybody's got orders but everyone's a bit split up and it looks a bit messy but Okay, apart from that, 2,000. 
Um, let's get a weavers in the city, in the town that is growing. In terms of research, we're going for wedge, which gets us royal Indian cavalry guard. We don't necessarily need that. I might go for cadenced marching because movement. Campaign movement for us will be quite important. Tehran's going for joint stock companies. My ministers are all largely okay. My sultan's miserable. Everyone hates him. Although your five-star five star base, you might become my India minister. Even though you make people unhappy. You couldn't make things complicated. Dagestan's still a bit unhappy with us, but that's still... Resistance to foreign occupation is still going down. Ooh, I just got a spare agent. Okay, you go infiltrate Jerusalem. Okay. Yeah, if we take Ankara, granted that will bring problems from Istanbul, but Ankara is a very wealthy region. We can get anchor under our control, and it will add extra um, ports for trade. Yeah, if we take anchor, the Ottomans are going to be in a really awkward position. Then we can, then they can kind of defend or prevent the Ottomans from adding extra troops into the region across the Dardanelles, and then our other army can put pressure on the Ottomans to the southwest. Ooh, I don't like how Russia's moving troops into our land. Although I think we do have. Military access rights. So they are allowed to do that. They are allowed to do it, but uh, I don't know how... <laughs> what their intentions are. Yeah, I think, yeah, if we go for, go for Ankara, take the city from the Ottomans... Then we can try and defend it from the Dardanelles. Get more trade. Because they they'll will. they they'll have trade and they'll have military production. Military shipyards as well. And then that will be a launch pad for our eventual invasion of the Balkans. So we've got joint stock companies. Tehran's gone on with separation of powers, which is fine. But I want wealth of nations. Because it's just a lot of flat wealth upgrades. Although, actually, I might want to go for measuring tools because that's also a flat wealth upgrade and we've actually... It's short. It's faster. It's five turns. A suspicious death. No! They've killed my general! Cowardly dogs. 3,800. So you guys are replenishing. Okay, you guys push to Ankara. You men, gather your strength. Gather your strength, replenish. Let's probably get keep an eye on upgrading here, or reinforcing here, because that makes me unhappy. Okay, you men, combine. Okay, you need you need twelve pounders, but we can't afford two units of twelve pounders anywhere. Actually, you might just push towards the enemy to see what's going on. Agent detected. Alright, then this last agent is here. Yeah, keep infiltrating. So we've built a Turkish bath in Esfahan, or in Persia, which is really important because we've got two universities. We haven't even upgraded both of them yet. Still, the college is, upgrade is, is currently still unupgraded. Okay, upgrade the... Farm, a Yerevan. 
22 turns. Till their people. Till their towns are growing again. Yeah, I could really do with some artillery and cavalry in the force that's pushing towards Damascus. So, uh -oh. yeah, don't like that army running around that part of the world. Might have to give the Mughals more um, technologies, because I don't think they're going to be able to hold off the Marathas. It's going to fire it. Path blocked. No, it isn't. Okay, we're in. And this fellow infiltrates. Mm, they got some troops down here. My last agent. Okay, so you guys are going to push forward. You're going to get two 12 pounders. It's going to take a while for them to get to you because they're being recruited from Eshfahan, I think. Yeah, they are, because Baghdad does not have the facilities to construct artillery. Let's upgrade the trade port with one of these units and then let's upgrade. Barracks. I th mm. Anything I can upgrade economic wise. Upgrade the barracks and then up here, because I don't like these Russian troops running around. Getting a Sireli unit just to bolster the defences on the walls. Okay, they've got a massive block of desert warriors, so we should be okay. But yeah, we're going to fight one large battle to push them away from Damascus. Capture Damascus and then keep pushing. I think it's going to be the end game here. Upgraded some mines at 4,700 per turn. That's not unexpected. Actually, Comanche, sir, you might go for Spinning Jenny. Because you have a few Weavers buildings, it would be useful to boost income from them in the short term. Sending troops in to try and intercept us. And we will sweep them aside. And we'll attack their capital. Although, oh, don't tell me you're going to start chugging. Okay, they're bringing, bringing more troops to bear. More, more Russia bringing... Oh, don't, don't attack me, Russia. Please, no. Ottomans have lost Akbarabad. That's the, the Ottomans. The Mughals have just lost Akbarabad, which is really bad. We don't have the financial firepower to maintain our offensive against the Ottomans and the Mughals. The Marathas, sorry. So we, if we're going to do it, we need to beat the Ottomans first. Barbary State's going to Barbary. Pirates are going to pirate. Okay, so we lost a bunch of income. I wonder where that was. Did we lose... Why have we... Oh, I guess you ran out of trade partners. Oh, the, your ports are now um, full of Marathas. You want money? Fine. Don't normally like giving away money for trade, but we need it. As a result, we lose our nice um, trade bonuses. Okay, advance towards Ankara. 
We have to engage this army and bring both their reinforcements to bear. Let us attack. We need to take the city. It's probably going to, it will cause problems because the enemy are going to have um, lots of units raiding around our territory. But it's got to be done. It has got to be done, otherwise, otherwise we're just kicking the can down the road. So my one gun, deploy back. Can you pick you two, Sereli, Helene, Helene, Sereli, Helene. Where are the enemies coming in from? Feline and Levy on each flank. In the centre of my line, two pikes and a Feline. And Hillman are on the right. Set my guys up. Wager. That's the actual army coming in. Yeah, Rashi Bazooks, there they are. Bias the uh, melee troops to support this flank. My guns are just engaging the Israeli to the front, which is fine. Looks like they're going to be falling back to regroup. Ultimately, yeah, we are gonna. What they do are gonna make us attack them. So we're gonna create quite a wide line. Beware of the fact that cavalry may charge out of the. There's an attack us. Guns engage. Guns engage the horsemen, get my line to run. Looks like they are gonna catch up. They are gonna make sure my Quite an aggressive charge order, so I guess that might not have been the best idea. Okay, good, they are falling back. Your guns just engage their artillery up on the hill. So you can just dis. Oh, they're out of range because they are not very good artillery. Positions. Your charge. Too bad you wait for my infantry to get into position first. Give them a volley. Can everybody open up on that unit of horsemen. You go. Good. 
good artillery. Switch targets to the next horse unit. Bouncing shot. Killed a bunch of horsemen from the routing unit. That was quite nice. Oops. Got my um, skirmishes on. There. If that's the most of the enemy army, that's right, get nice and close. Give me so early reloading. Cavalry is going to flank around. Chibazooks are just going to get shot to ribbons. My cavalry. Where's my general? You guys need to get over here. into the Muslim provide some more support get my artillery taking one of these units back here in the center riskers of souls Ski biscuits. Cerulea top. General, go for the Bashi Bazooks. My Muslim are routing on the right flank, but that's not unexpected, but they've caused a lot of carnage. towards those men. Ultimately, use, losing some Feline is not a bad idea. God damn. There's a hell of a morale collapse. Where's my general? Get my general over here. I need to start mopping up some of these units. Him out Janissary, right? You guys all cease fire. Ah, some of them have come back. Probably got eyes on my unit to come back for routing. These Muslim that have come back from routing, but they're probably going to regret it soon. One last volley. No, we can't ignore.
can't ignore these men that are just so willing to die right in front of our guns. That's right, Mr. Salim. Don't let them get away. There you go, they managed to shatter them, cease fire the howitzers. So many dead. See you later, Bashi Bazooks. My Muslim can be diverted. Just because there's a good number of them to catch for us. Keep going for Bashi Bazooks. Yeah, the enemy have been scattered to the four winds. Handful left there to get. Is this Aurelia trying to hold out? going to work though. If you do a bayonet so that they are a little bit more effective than they normally would be. No! My Muslim! The camels aren't necessarily the best pursuit animals, but... troops for reinforcement. Kill the enemy general. You guys are still trying to attack that Russia Bazooka unit. Damn right we're gonna continue. My Feline and Mussolini are going to chase them down. Kill the other commander. Yes. This is the last unit left. Sometimes you have to keep right clicking because they'll stop and fight, although they've got less um, stamina than my guys do. Well, that was a good victory, really good victory. Lots of dead Ottomans. Lost 469, they lost nearly 3,000. Excellent. It's quite a cheap reinforcement. Get on up to the city. Okay, your guns are on the way. I don't really need the guns, but they will be useful. Really useful just to push back some of these hordes. A lot of good stuff built. So, hopefully, we'll start to build a spy network in Ankara. 2600. Hopefully, once we start um, getting. Once you take Ankara, that will really. That should add some extra. Cash in our pocket. Because right now we're, we're really heavily dependent on trade. I don't want to do that. No, I do not want to be allied with you, Prussia. No way. So they're reinforcing their hold at Damascus. That's going to be a difficult battle to push them back, but we should be able to do it. And because the large garrison's inside the city, if we take the city, we only have to just, just make them retreat and they'll all die. We haven't got to worry about 
chasing them down on the campaign map and that's all quite good really Spinning Jenny. So then, ultimately, I should use Command Sherry to catch up on the cheaper technologies. Things like grenades for a turn. Although it is, it is chiefly my economy I'm interested in. Get flying shuttle. Successful mission. Successful mission, successful mission. All of my missions are successful. Awesome. Okay, so then you men are going to march on the city of Ankara. There are some troops in reinforcement, but not enough to prevent our capture of the city. So we will have to send forces out to uh, repair and destroy raiding forces and so on, but... Really, the core of the enemy's strength is now around Damascus. Guns on the high ground, engage as you wish. Although, maybe a little bit further back, even though they've not necessarily got the range. My, well, my melee troops, my, my ranged troops may sit, may push up to the left. A detachment of melee troops going to clear the town. And we're still going to have a detachment come up with the main line. General in the centre. Suicide my first shot, dead mortar. I'm gonna charge my camels in because they've only got Muslim Bylock Arm Populous in support, so that's not shouldn't be a problem. The only thing we have to watch out for is the reinforcements coming in, so space our melee troops. need to keep running to try and cut them off. The garrison Islamic Swordsmen are aware of what's about to happen. They already were charging. Yeah, they are charging. Okay, let's advance up. Push on into the file of gun populace, although that's what actually that's a lot that's where most of their reinforcements are coming in from. So let's get my line up here. Try and kill that enemy general. Although the gunners are the enemy general for the action for the garrison. Probably want to do something like this. We'll take a bit of ori reorienting. The 
the generals decided to not support the combat, although they are, they're just going to get another charge. Fine, fair enough. Damage swords are going to be doing some real damage to my guys. It's because they are really good melee troops. I can't wait to get them myself. Yeah, but now they're surrounded. These guys are going to run into position, then they're going to, then they're going to um, steady themselves. Only fire from enemy artillery. As oh, see now, as soon as I as soon as I redeploy, to make the garrison unit shatter. See, Islamic musketeers, uh, Islamic swordsmen, they've done really well. They're really good melee units. Musketeer, musketeer, musketeer. Killed enemy general. To the mix because I've left them behind. Okay, you guys threaten this left flank. Okay, I might have to make my musketeers do one last run. up the hill. So the enemy guns are back here, protected by a cav unit. No, it's a really, you need to run. Units walk into position. Those bashy bazooks are going somewhere. Oh, Faline musketeers, you haven't had anything to do yet. Present. Engage us at your peril. the organ guns. Cavalry needs to get up here at speed. Get him, cavalry. They're shattered. Go after the Mussolini. More organ gunfire. Shut 
shattered, shattered, good. The enemy skirmish troops have revealed themselves. Salim, yep, Azar, 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 Bashi Bazooks. You guys, I'm sorry, you're gonna get knackered trying to get up here to the top of this hill. Waiting for my cavalry to get me from a camel skin into position for engage the Bashi Bazooks. They're going to warp towards the enemy. They killed their own guys. I guess all the shots hit here bounced up in there. Yep, they did. Some of them carried on. the pressure for Zooks from the high ground. There goes the enemy cavalry contingent. Those Orkham guns are no more. This is going to be a real mess. Camels support those camels attacking the Muslim, the, the uh, Zemindari horsemen charge down to the back of this squishy blob of troops. You help your comrades in arms. Zars aren't happy. Bashi Bazooks aren't happy. They were absolutely flying. Okay, let's end the battle. I don't think we need to chase them down. I don't think. I think the reinforcements should die. Well, I was immediately wrong. <laughs> On both counts. So the first thing we're going to do is destroy the college. And you can see they've got lots of fragments around here. Let's repair the government mansion, repair the barracks, repair the ordnance factory. The army replenishing my agent. My agent's going to go out and do some, do some wet work. Try and assassinate their generals. So at least that will earn us a little bit of extra income. Although, actually, how much are we actually getting? We're getting rid of the university. I'll we'll get rid of a lot of clamour for reform. And we do have territories in the east we can upgrade. Or at least that are less likely to be raided. Um, you, because we have another agent in the area. may choose to attack the Ottomans there. Guns are still moving up. Probably stand to uh, recruit reinforcements that will take a few turns to get here because then by the time they get here we will be able to uh, combine our troops and do some good stuff. Can't really do anything here though. can trade but we're not going to get they're not going to realistically happen unless we secure our ports but let's get them going anyway 
13 colonies. What if I give you carbines and plug bayonets? That, my friends, is the art of a deal. Give uh, the me incarnate technologies. So in theory, that's 5,000 this turn. It's not going to be, but in theory it is. Hopefully these guys all combine. Let's hit any turn. Okay. Spain's going to push across North Africa. I mean, Prussia's... The Ottomans are probably going to raid our ports anyway, so... Yeah, we... <laughs> They're coming. Uh, do I want to intercept? Yes, I do. I want to, give, I want to have a free opportunity to push them back, um, but... Looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the continuing adventures of Persia. Cheers, everyone.